What's up, everyone? James Lynch here, previewing Saturday's UFC Vegas 50 main event, which pits Tiago Santos taking on Megamed and Kalaev. If you missed my main card preview of this card, I have that in a separate video. Um, this card is going to be taking place at the Apex in Las Vegas, just FYI, so smaller cage. Uh, both of these guys have knockout power, though, so I don't think that favors one or the other. Uh, like I said, huge favorite here for Ankalaev. 16-1 record compared to the 22-9 record here for Chago Santos. So Santos has more experience, uh, but he's a lot older too. 38 years old compared to 29 here for Megamed Ankalaev. 6 foot 2 to 6 foot 3, 76 to 75. Uh, Santos, of course, coming off uh, his last fight, getting a win over Johnny Walker, which snapped a three-fight losing streak. Look at these guys that he's fought, though. John Jones, Glover Teixeira, Alexander Rakic, some of the best in the division. Also has a win over the former champ, Jan Blahovic. So pretty good resume overall here with Thiago Santos, but make no mistake about it. He needs to get a win here to stay as a contender in the weight class. And Kalaev, like I said, looked pretty much flawless outside of one submission loss to Paul Craig a few years back. Outside of that, he's been finishing a lot of these guys and I picked up a really nice win over former uh, title challenger Volkan Ozdemir. So a uh, nice win there for him back in October. Um, this is, in my opinion, Mega Man Ankalaev's fight to lose. I think Tiago Santos has not been the same since getting that knee surgery uh, after the John Jones fight. He just, I mean, I know he won his last fight, but wasn't anything to ride home about. Um, and we saw Walker lose a few weeks ago too, so I don't think that uh, win has aged very well here. Uh, Ankalaev's just so fast, good wrestling, just all around good game. I think Ankalaev's one of the the scariest guys in the weight class at 205 and I think he's going to go out there and prove it I think the big question in this fight is will it go the distance or will uh, Ankali be able to be able to finish it I don't know because Santos is pretty tough to take out himself uh, he has been finished before we saw that against Glover Teixeira but that was a third round finish I know it's a five round fight but still uh, Santos pretty durable for the weight class I tend to lean a little bit more towards Ankali getting a decision win here so maybe look for that prop for some better value but yeah minus 450 maybe you put that in a parlay but I don't see a ton of value there uh, with Ankali of playing him straight up. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who are you picking in the main event of Saturday's UFC Vegas 50 card? Let me know. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Lynch on Sports and make sure you subscribe to the Odds Checker US YouTube channel where you'll find my breakdowns and interviews every single week. I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.